Joseph and the Famine, a brother's chance to unite his family. Jacob's family was hungry because of a famine, so Jacob sent his sons to Egypt to buy food. He kept his youngest son, Benjamin, at home. He was afraid of losing Benjamin like he had lost his son, Joseph, many years before. He didn't know that his older sons had sold Joseph as a slave. By this time, Joseph was a great leader in Egypt. He was in charge of selling food during the famine. The brothers met with Joseph and asked him for food. They didn't recognize him. Joseph recognized them, but he pretended not to know them. He asked about their family to see if his father and brother Benjamin were alive. Then Joseph gave his brothers food. He told them not to come back for more food unless they brought their youngest brother, Benjamin, with them. When the family ran out of food again, Jacob knew he had to send Benjamin with his other sons back to Egypt. Jacob was still scared about letting Benjamin go, but Judah, one of the brothers, promised he would keep Benjamin safe. When the brothers returned to Egypt, Joseph made it look like Benjamin stole a silver cup. He wanted to see if his older brothers had changed. Judah begged Joseph not to punish Benjamin, but to punish Judah instead. Joseph was happy to see that his brothers had changed. They loved Benjamin enough to protect him. So at last, Joseph told them who he was. Joseph forgave his brothers for selling him to be a slave. Joseph said it was the Lord's way to help their family survive the famine. Joseph's brothers went back to their father, Jacob, and told him all that had happened. Jacob moved his whole family to Egypt. Pharaoh welcomed Jacob's family. He gave them land and animals so they could have plenty of food. Jacob's family lived in peace for a long time. <laughs>